Alright, so we're going to be looking at this problem. Now, first we're going to really want to think about the setup because uh, we're looking at the charge, the we're looking at the electric field on the inside of this uh, glass shell. So, really the charges on the outside of the shell, uh, if we look at this little diagram here, we can see that the, all the charges, uh, the electric fields due to those charges uh, align in such a way that the net electric field cancels out. So we can ignore that, uh, that at any point in this uh, sphere. But that doesn't mean that the total net electric field is zero. Uh, on the inside here because it is a glass shell and we have that dipole at the bottom there so really we just need to look at the dipole um, so we use our old trusty dipole formula 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q times s over r cubed now of course uh, the length uh, the distance between the inside of the shell and the dipole is much greater than the separation of the dipole, so we can use the simplified formula. And if we plug in our values uh, for our charge and the separation and the distance, we get 6.51 times 10 to the negative 5 uh, nano cool, uh, newtons per coulomb, and that is a vector, so uh, we only have that dipole uh, running on the x. Uh, x-axis, so the other, the y and the z values are 0 and 0. Now for the second part, we want to look at the electric field on the inside of a metal solid ball. Now it's a little bit different because the metal um, doesn't react the same way as a glass ball because the metal is a conductor so all that excess charge from the the dipole uh, it, it polarizes the outside of the metal so we have all that charge on the outside and none of it really penetrates so it's still zero in there inside the metal ball so the electric field due to the metal ball is zero 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 nanocoulombs uh, newtons per coulomb. I don't know why I keep saying nano coulombs, but anyway, it's zero 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 newtons per coulomb on the inside of the metal ball. Now, with that metal ball, we want to see if it's uh, which way it's going to polarize. Since so it was going to polarize, uh, there are going to be more positive charges on the right side than on the left side, and that's because the uh, dipole is positioned in such a way that the positive charge is on the left side and the negative charge is on the right side. Uh, that pretty much wraps up this question in a nutshell. Uh, there we go.